Welcome back everyone, I'm Sethiroth, and today we are continuing our deep dive into the illusion spells from the Arcanum mod. Uh, these are some potent spells for any illusion or thief based playthrough. We're going to be starting off with Ageless Insight. Uh, you might remember this from the initial showcase that I did for Arcanum. This increases the power of all your spells by 15% for 2 minutes. While active, casting 5 spells causes an additional random master spell to be cast. So we start off with the buff, Arcane Insight. And it looks like we're going to be testing something else as well. So given that we are already dealing with nasty, nasty people, uh, we're going to go with Ceaseless Torment. This will inflict horrific pain on all targets in a 15 foot radius dealing 40 damage per second for 8 seconds. This duration doesn't run out as long as the target is under the effect of a Fear, Frenzy, or Calm spell. So the first thing we're going to do is bring up our God Mode. That will make it a lot easier to do this without dying. Uh, so the idea is you first want to apply a Mental Effect. Uh, we're going to go with Fear, because that actually there's another ability here that also procs with Fear. Or another spell, I should say. And then we have Ceaseless Torment that will continue doing damage over time as long as the fear is in effect or update tech, 8 seconds, whichever one comes first. Uh, keep in mind, Aegis Insight is running, so every fifth spell will cost an additional master random spell to be cast. So just keep in mind when you see random bursts of explosion or buffs, that's, pro that's from Aegis Insight, that's not from Ceaseless Torment. And there we go. Alright, so first off, I need to feared. Thank you. And. Oh, it's a master spell. It needs some charge. There we go. Oh. Alright, not sure if we can fear a danger or not. We cannot, but we should still be able to use this master AoE spell. Yes, we can. There we go. Alright. Still haven't seen. Oh, yeah. yeah, that wasn't five spells, so let's keep going. Oh, I think I might have got dispelled. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think they somehow dispelled my Aegis Insight. Okay, there's our Aegis Insight, and then we'll go ahead and just cast. You don't have to actually hit the target for this buff to kick in. You just have to cast five spells. That one looked different. I think that was a AoE. Yeah, that was an AoE Illusion spell. I think that was Calm. That was an AoE Calm spell. You know what, why don't we just uh, go over to this next hapless victim and see what kind of an effect that has. Oh, jeez, what did that do? That that has a lot of buffs with it. That has to have popped up. Alright, that gave us focus. Uh, oh, and there's an enlightened verse. Okay, so the one before was enlightened verse. That gave us five stacks of focus. Prevents focus from being lost when taking the after 14 seconds. And then with focus, your illusion spells become progressively more powerful until you are hit. You are a very nice apprentice firing mage. I don't know why you're being so passive. We're going to take care of that. There we go. Okay. So that's the fun of Ageless Insight. It's kind of a random grab bag of buffs. And for master, spe master level spells, uh, it could be buffs, obviously. It could be area of effect spells. Uh, it could be any variety of master level spells. So that's a fun one to get, but because it's a grab bag, you have to be careful because you don't know what you're throwing out. Uh, if it turns out to be a master level destruction spell, you might set your ally on fire, and no one wants that. Uh, next, we have Countermand. Uh, for four seconds, it negates up to 146 points of spell damage or effects. If at least one spell hits you while Counterman is active, you regain 100 Magicka. Otherwise, Counterman has no effect for 25 seconds. So this is something, uh, it looks like we're going to need another offensive spell of some kind. So we're going to go ahead and keep Ceaseless Torment up. Uh, Counterman is your defensive spell to use against mages. Uh, so if you know magic is on the way, you throw up Counterman and that will absorb the damage as well as, let me check the description again just to make sure. So it absorbs, oh, it absorbs damage and it uh, restores magicka, which is also useful. I think we can go ahead and just deal with these guys. Uh, master level spell takes a little longer to charge than I would like. 
but we're good. All right, so we'll go in with, well, first we got to deal with the spiders. This guy has spiders. We'll just use the area of effect spell to deal with those. No spiders? No spiders. Okay, then. Counterman it is. Yeah. Not exactly as elaborate as I had hoped. There we go. So there's Counterman. As you can see, we're taking quite a bit of damage. So it functions kind of like a ward, but you don't have to concentrate, which is a really nice touch. So you can actually switch to whatever other two spells you want to cast, or whatever spell, other spell you want to cast in your left hand. Uh, it also restores Magicka once it takes damage. So we could probably handle being in Immortal Mode for this. Throw Counterman. Yep, and you see that brings back my Magicka. Which obviously is no longer useful once they decide to start stabbing you. <laughs> and goodbye. Ah, the weakest link. You're an apprentice fire mage. You are by definition the weakest link. Uh, all right. So that was countermand. A uh, great defensive spell. Uh, loads up your magicka. If for four sec after four seconds you don't take any magic damage. Uh, then it won't do anything for 25 seconds. So you do have to be judicious with it. Almost like with a ward spell, how you have to bring it up preemptively, but if it's up and, not, and you're not taking any damage, then you just kind of are wasting your magicka. Uh, Counterman's effects can be wasted if you're not taking magical hits. Next we have Cryptic Command. Interrupt the target if they are casting a spell. Shattering wards causing pause okay so this will shatter wards which is fantastic because you know how annoying it is when they have the ward up and you're trying to land a spell on them this will cause the positive effects of their spell to be applied to you and the negative effects to be cast on the target if they're power attacking this will also stagger them instead and deal 100 magic damage multiple ca casts of the same on the same target within eight seconds deal 10 percent of the target's current health as magic damage so this will take a positive spell and give it to you, a negative spell and inflict it on them. It interrupts power attacks, and if you just wail it on the target again and again and again, it does stacking damage. So, man, once you get that, I'm not sure under what circumstances then you wouldn't use this spell. But let's just go ahead and make our way through here. I think we can interrupt this guy. Yep, there's our first interrupt. And second. Yep, there we go. And third. Yeah, so what I'm doing there is the, the negative effects of his frost spells are actually being inflicted on him. And then I'm also doing a little bit of damage over time with my with this spell. Oh, he decides to resist it, because that always ruins everyone's day. I'm gonna keep on coming. This is kind of funny. It's interesting because it's... Oh, oh, that is so cool. We interrupted his conjuration spell, which means we hijacked it. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's fun. When he first conjured it, I thought, ah, well, now I won't be able to reach him for this demo. But uh, that worked out quite well. Yeah, so you just got to be te be careful with your timing and make sure you're landing this thing You know, as they are casting. So that adds a little bit of skill to it, rather than just hitting them with the spell whenever you want. Uh, but yeah, that is that is cool. Just being able to hijack enemy conjuration spells is fantastic. Oof, what a way to ruin someone's day. Alright, next we have Dampening Matrix, a cloak that reduces the magic regeneration of all units within 45 feet by 50% for 120 seconds. Whenever a unit casts a spell, you regain 25 magicka plus 5% of your max magicka. So this will feed me magicka as long as someone near me is casting a spell. So let's see, we've already got... All right, so we're gonna set this up. And now we're listening for spell casting. I just have to be close enough. There we go. Alright, so I don't know if you noticed, but I had all of this... Uh, I had chewed up most of my magic to cast a spell, 
and then it all came back once to, uh, the guy we were killing casted a spell himself because you can see this blue matrix that pops up around me occasionally anyone within that range that casts a spell will automatically give me more magicka which I think is an interesting approach because I have to actually be pretty close 45 feet to the target in order to get that magicka, magicka kickback and you know with the high powered mages particularly if you don't have a lot of elemental resistance that can be pretty gutsy unless you have a friend that can go into melee range and take the heat for you so i do i like that spell it doesn't feel particular it doesn't feel overpowered to me you reduce their regeneration but you still have to deal with that initial blast of magic which if you don't have elemental re, uh, regeneration or elemental defenses uh, elemental damage reduction uh, can still get you killed so I think that's a good approach because it helps you out in the long run by limiting their regen, but it also feeds you more magicka as they cast spells, which I think is a, I think that's a good approach. Uh, next we have deep analysis, reveal crucial information about the target. The amount of information revealed is increased with your illusion level. So let's see, is this a range spell? No, I th oh geez, is this a touch spell? Alright, since this is a beloved touch spell, I think we're just going to run it in god mode and see what this does. Oh, there we go. Okay. I, I don't know why it is being reported to the 100,000th power. <laughs> that is some very specific decimals. However, it is nice to be able to see exactly how much health, stamina, magicka, armor, magic resist a target has. Since it seems to be um, at, based on touch, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, so it is ranged. That's cool. Okay. Oh, but not a lot of range. There we go. Okay, so when you're in stealth mode, it will still require some skill in order to get close enough to read the target. But particularly if you use mods that give enemies a wider range of resistances, this spell then becomes a lot more vital because you can't just go all fire and then burn everything but flame astronox if you're using that kind of a spell because it just prevents everything from uh, well procking uh, yeah so that's that's a good one I like that that gives you quite a bit of information about the target and you have to actually be close enough to be threatening combat with the target which uh, that works out quite well I think uh, next we have Delusive Smokescreen, lasts for 20 seconds. You are invisible and gain 40% movement speed while inside. Other units are slowed by 40%. So let's go ahead and try this in combat. Okay, so I have a Smokescreen, gives me invisibility, but the guy already knows I'm here because we're in combat. Good to know. So that said, all right, so we're just gonna let this person be gone. All right, we're gonna try Delusive Smoke Screen out of combat, but before that happens, we're gonna try this expropriate, expropriate stuff. Okay, I gotta charge it first. Extortion failed. Okay, that's annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you fail your extortion? Oh jeez. Now I have a very angry storm mage. Okay, I think we're charged. Try it again. Resisted expropriate. Okay, so we're going to have to find someone a little squishier. Oh, and now everyone and their mother is going to come after us. Great. Uh, anyway, so this spell is a little... The delusive smoke screen is a little tricky. It does give you invis invisibility, but only in this narrow area. So one thing that could be useful if you, is if you use this to ambush... And, of course, they know I'm here. All right, if we're going into combat, we might as well switch to something a little more appropriate. Oh, Force of Will, this might be good. Costs 2% of your max health and reduces your max magicka by 15 per second, but you can concentrate to reflect incoming spells back at their attackers. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Ever looked in the mirror? Ever had the mirror shoot back in your face? Oh, this is... Huh. This is an interesting one. Because they're still doing damage? No? Oh, are they all out of magic? Almost. That guy's blowing up. Wow. This is like judo for, for mages. <laughs> 
cool. All right, now you you can go. You, you can go. Thank you very much. You know what? You've been giving me a lot of trouble, so I think we'll just ceaseless torment you. Oh, and your friends here too. Lovely. All right, so that was an interesting one. Force of will. So that one, it, you have to be careful because it costs health and your max magicka. But on the other hand, it, it has successfully redirected incoming spells. So as long as you're stand, I think you have to stand close enough for the trajectories to line up. Because if you're too far away, then if the reflection is off by a few seconds or a few degrees before they move, then the reflected projectile won't hit them. But I think that is a really interesting way to counter mage spells rather than the standard, you know, counter spell or counterman type spell. Force of Will is kind of like a ward on steroids because you just force them to attack you. Which is interesting because technically it means the best way to fight you would then be to just do nothing <laughs> and just wait for your health and magic to run out. Uh, but let's see if we can't land a few. Alright, we're, so we're going to have to countermand him first because he's got his happy little shield up. And then we're going to hit him with fear and then we're going to try and expropriate him. Oh, that is the wrong button. Oh no, that no wait, that, that is the right button? Oh yeah, my mistake. So I was actually looking for a cryptic command. We want to interrupt that spell. And then we apply fear. And then hopefully we'll be able to finally expropriate this guy. Come on. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Nice resistant. I'm gonna have to find someone squishier in order to make that work. Anyway, this expropriate spell takes a feared unit and it gives you gold from them uh, based on their level. It has a chance to fail based on their level, uh, but it does consume their fear. You can only use this once per week. So this is a gold generating illusion spell. Okay, I really want to try and make this expropriate work. So we're just going to, I put in some more perks into illusion. Usually I try not to add in perks with my demos because I want to show you guys what the spell can actually do on its own. Uh, not what it can do with perks, because that kind of defeats the purpose. Come on. Come to daddy. Although it is kind of fun playing tag with the high-powered storm mage and watching them run like scared little child. Uh, there we go. Nope. Alright, well, if you are... I mean, there are weaker uh, mages in the next room, so we'll just uh, take care of them that way. Alright. Let's go ahead and expropriate a nice mage in the next room. Alright, we're in god mode because I don't want to deal with anyone's crap right now. I just need to terrify someone and you have been chosen! Alright, shield's up. Oh wait, no, you're in. Ah, there we go. Hey, hey, come on now. Stop shielding me. Let me in. Let me into your mind. Ah, there we go. Okay, hey, 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 hey. I need you to hold still. Come on. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Almost there. Close enough. Extortion failed. Why is this? Oh, I wonder if this already procced once before. This can only happen once a week. I bet you it worked before and gave me gold, and that's why it's not working now. It's the only reason I can think of why it wouldn't work, because it only works once a week. All right, we'll go ahead and hop over to Fervid Visions. Increase the target's magic of regeneration by 100%, but also reduces their armor by 60 for 60 seconds. Upon casting eight spells, this effect is dispelled, and the target is frenzied for 20 seconds. Okay, so this is a technically a debuff that you give a target before you force them to frenzy. And then when this wears off, oh no, you, you can give this buff out of combat. So you're sneaking up on a group, you give this buff. When it wears off, they are, then are frenzied. Or you can give it to them while they're frenzied and fighting their buddies, and it will lower their armor and increase their magicka regeneration which also throws out more damage when they're dealing with their angry buddies. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's see. So if we can throw out some further divisions on these guys, after eight spells are cast, they should go into a frenzy mode. I wish they would hurt their own skeleton. That would make more sense. Come on, guys. I know you're running low on magicka here, but this is a demo. I need you to cast, like, four more times. Five more times. That's a lot more times that these guys have to cast. There we go. Alright, so it took a while to get to the eighth spell, because these frostbite-based spells are uh, take a while to cast. But as you can see, Fury has kicked in. They are busy killing each other. 
and that worked out pretty well. Obviously, it took a while for that to proc, which is kind of annoying. Oh, oh, this guy tore off too. Oh, dang, I should have just left him alone. <laughs> uh, okay, so the one downside that I've noticed already with Fervid Visions is they have to cast eight spells before it begins creating the fear effect or the frenzy effect that you're after. So that can be, I mean, waiting for eight spells seems really annoying. But keep in mind, you can also use this from stealth and throw it on a target without being detected. And then if you make, mix that with the Fury spell or you wait patiently for Fury to proc, either way, it's a great way to continue stirring the pot and making the bad guys kill each other so that you can live to fight another day. Uh, next we have, last actually, we have Flash Step. Uh, teleport you behind a target up to 50 feet away. If you are undetected by the target casting, you also become invisible. Well, that should be easy to test. Uh, in the next room, I think we have one particular victim that is hiding around a corner. And that should give us the invisibility we seek. Alright, so we've got Flash Step in one hand. We might as well just go for... Actually, this is going to be a high-powered mage, so we'll go with Cryptic Command in the other to interrupt any spells that he might cast. I think this will be easier to aim from first-person mode because you do technically need to nail the target, and... No. Okay, there's a second guy in here. Maybe that rock is blocking my line of sight. Is there a second guy in here? There should be. No? Oh, there we go. I'm invisible now. Oh, there we go. All right, for the win, this is the spell interrupting... <laughs> Spellus Interruptus. Just gotta be very quick about it, because you gotta hit them right when they're casting. Oh yeah. It's going good. Wait, does that mean if they're casting a healing spell and I interrupt it that it kills them? That worked out really good. Okay, so this is a high level wizard, so there's a chance of her ignoring my spell. But uh, we seem to be doing pretty good. Oh, here we are. Yep, yep. <laughs> Blew that lightning spell back in his face. That's cool. So part of it is just figuring out like the pattern, the timing. His different uh, monsters will cast at different levels. I think we'll go ahead and put her out of her misery. Oh, yeah, you're done. Thank you for your service. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, Alright, so I think that is all of the ones I wanted to... Yep, that's all the spells I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we wanted to look at Delusive Smokescreen out of combat. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Oh, that is the wrong button. I would do that, wouldn't I? Okay, Delusive Smokescreen. Okay, alright, so first off, it's centered around you. It gives you invisibility. It does... Ooh, so... Because it sticks around a geographic location. Interesting. Oh no, can we like crawl towards a target and in essence never be detected? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So you do need enough stealth to actually pull this off. Okay, that's good to know. You, need, you still need stealth. Being invisible alone does not a overpowered illusion mage make. Which is fair. Technically. It's annoying, but it is fair. Alright, yeah, we've got that guy. And then we've got you over here. Did I hit you? I did not hit you. That will change. There we go. Yeah, area of effect spells for illusion mages were very. That's an interesting idea. It's interesting to have a direct damage spell in the illusion school. And it does not surprise me at all that someone came up with that in Arcanum. Not at all. That makes total sense. Uh, Arcanum is all about being able to take a single school and make it completely viable on its own or combine it with other schools for crazy, crazy things. Uh, all right. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this demo so far. We've covered these first, I believe, 11 illusion spells for Arcanum. Uh, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I thought Delusive Smokescreen had some really cool effects, but... 
cryptic command, the ability to interrupt the, interrupt the target's spells and do damage is just fantastic. I feel like that's more of a... I don't know, you can let me know in the comments below if you think it's overpowered, because it can get through wards. So even if they're maintaining concentration on a ward spell, you can still break it. Which, depending on the player, that might be too... Depending on your tastes, that might be too overpowered, it might not. Uh, for me, I think it works out great. And it does a little extra damage on the side, so I think it works out nice. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.